This is weird. I haven't worn makeup in a long time. Anyone in quarantine not wearing makeup? Who normally wears at least some makeup? I have some announcements. One, I got featured in an online publication called Audio Femme. If you'd like to check out the article, link down below. I'm really excited about it because this lady interviewed me and she called me on Zoom from all the way in California. That's technology. It's crazy. Uh, and I did an interview and I was really scared for it. Link's down below if you want to check that out. It's my first time being published as a professional solo musician. So this is very exciting and a very big step for me. Oh, oh, oh. This publication was to promote the lyrics video for Sheep, which is also linked down below if you missed that. We're all sheep in a herd on a farm. Just posted it. It's my first lyrics video. This is crazy. Sheep, if you don't know, is one of the songs on my five track EP that's out on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, all of your favorite music streaming platforms. Yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys how to play it as a celebration of all these big things happening. Oh, wow. Uh, all right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ukulele and you're gonna put capo or capo from wherever you're from on the third fret. This is in standard tuning, so make sure that your ukulele is tuned in standard and you're ready to go. This song is in F major uh, without the capo. Like, if the capo wasn't there, like, it would be normal F. I guess with the capo it makes it, what, F sharp? I don't know. By the way, for this tutorial, I will be referring to the frets, pretending the capo is not there. So like this is fret one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all the frets from where the capo is. But anyway, you're gonna play an F chord formation. So first fret, you're gonna put your first finger on the second string, and you're gonna put your middle finger on the fourth string on the second fret, like this. And that's F. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do D minor which is like F, except you put a finger here. Okay, but I just squish my middle finger down, so it's covering both those strings. So you have F, and you have D minor. Next you have D7, which you can play it like this, these top three strings right here, these top three. Boom, leave this one, this string open, because you're gonna put your pinky on it, like that, on the third fret. But I just bar this whole thing and put my ring finger here, typically. So that's the third chord in this sequence. And the fourth chord is this like, I don't know what you would call this chord. I really don't know. Um, but I'm just barring these three strings, the bottom three strings. So you have F, D minor, D7, and then this chord on the first fret. Those are the chords for the intro and for the verses. For the chorus, it's a little bit different, but it's almost the same. You have F, because we're doing the same things. D minor, posting the same things. Same two chords as before. So F, D minor, you know those, they're familiar, they're your friends. Then you have B flat and C7. So B flat, if you know B, it's just that whole structure down a fret. I put my first finger on these, both of these strings right here, both of these. Burp, middle finger on this one, second fret, then third fret. It makes like a line, like a diagonal line. I guess you could also play it like this if you want and have two fingers like on each of these strings, but that's a bit confusing. So I just smash that first finger, just smash it right on there. That's B flat. Then C7 is really easy. It's just this. There's your normal C. C7, down two frets, it's just on the first fret. So that's for the chorus. Now that you have the chords for the verses and for the chorus, I'm gonna teach you the strumming pattern for the introduction. So the strumming pattern is only with these three strings. You don't even touch this one for the intro strumming part. And if you listen to the track, you can hear the ukulele. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the formation for the F, by the way, really practice the chord formations first before you go into the plucking, because this is a bit intermediate level, if you will. So pause this video, look back on it later. <laughs> Don't go forward from here until you have the F, D minor, D7, this bar chord, then F, D minor, B flat, C7. Don't go forward until you have those chords down and you're comfy with them. So the plucking is
Again, you're only plucking these three strings. You're not even touching this one. I'll do it really slowly. The second time through, you strum that last chord. We're all sheep. And you get into the strumming. So that's the plucking part. I would just practice that over and over and over a lot until you get it down, but hopefully that's clear and you can see what my fingers are doing. The normal strumming pattern though for the rest of the song, besides the intro plucky part, is... There's a lot of chucks in there. You know I love my chucks. I love them. If you don't know what a chuck is, I mentioned this in my other tutorial videos, but basically it's just like a... You don't actually strum the chords, you like you stop the strings from vibrating with your palm. And it sounds kind of cool, like rhythmic. So, this is the strumming pattern. So... That's the verses, okay? Cause we're doing the same things, posting the same things, having the same flames with people like us who are being the same things, making the same things, following, following, and playing it safe. In that in between the ho. It's the same chords as the chorus, just so you know. And if you want to get fancy, you can add in a little... That's more flamenco style, I suppose. Because <laughs> we're doing the same things, posting the same things, having the same things with people like us who are being the same things. I don't, hopefully that makes sense. The strumming pattern is really difficult, but I typed it out on the bottom for you to see. All of the chords and the lyrics are down below so you can practice. The bridge, let's get to the bridge. Our field is green, yes, right? So it's A. Our field is green, yes, F. A is these two little babies. You got on the first fret, second string down, first finger. The second fret, top string. And the F, again, You all you have to do is move this baby over here, that's it. Just move it from here to here. And that's F, wow. So you have A. F, and then this weird like uh, minor weird F variation thing. I don't know what it's called, but this is what I do. It's technically like these two. Second fret, this one and this one, and you skip this string, that's open. But because my fingers were already in the F formation, I don't lift this one, I just keep it there and I put this one right here. It's the same sound. This finger's just chilling for a little longer. But it's more or less. Back to F. You know F. And then G7. The same shade of green can't you see. Okay. So you have the G7, which is like G, which I picture like a triangle, but a backwards triangle. Like that. G7 is this one, this one, and this one. And then I throw in a C7 in there, which you remember is this one. Can you see? We're doing the same things back to the chorus. And we're doing the chorus, because it's the chorus. And you just do these over and over, over and over to the end of the song. F, D minor, B flat. Whoa. And that's the whole song!
Thank you for tuning in to this sheep tutorial. If you do a cover of this song, by the way, either tag me on Instagram or put a link in the description of this video and I'll watch your sheep covers. It'll be so cute. If you tag me on Instagram though, I will add you to my story. I love when people tag me in stories. It's the best. Keep that in mind if you want some featured energy. You know how like other YouTubers call their fans something? I want to call you guys my little sheep. My little herd of sheep. Cause we're doing the same things, posting the same things. So anyway, stay awesome, stay safe in quarantine, stay socially isolated from people wherever you are, and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!